This episode of Quite Frankly was made possible by our friends from MacFun, great photo editing software for Mac. Go to our special MacFun community website for exclusive deals just for you guys. Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of Quite Frankly. Now, you all know I love Photoshop, right? Now, I'm a photographer that will actually tell you, try to get the image as good as possible in camera. So Photoshop for me is only used for tinting and of course retouching the skin. But I want my lighting to be as perfect as possible. Now for some of you guys Photoshop is a terrifying program. It's oh the moment you open it you start freaking out. You feel that sweat coming on and you go like I will never start understanding Photoshop. Up, up, up. In essence it's not that hard. But if you're really one of those guys that are afraid of Photoshop, I'm going to show you a very quick tip in Lightroom, how you can retouch skin and can make your model look a little bit more pretty than she already is with very simple tools. So I'm going to head over to my other camera where you can actually see my face while I'm talking to you guys while in Lightroom and I'm going to switch my computer to Lightroom. So let's do this. Okay, there we go. So here we have one of the shots from Melissa. Now the first thing of course that you want to do is make sure that her skin tone is nice and soft because she has pretty good skin but you still want to flatten it out just a little bit because that's the main problem with digital cameras. They're so incredibly sharp, they're so detailed that you see all the pores and for some people it doesn't look right. So let's change that first. Now the thing is that in Lightroom you can go to the develop module as you can see here. And there's an adjustment brush. Now, one of the cool things you can do with the adjustment brush is level out the skin. Now, I'm not going to go 100%, I'm going to go to one third because at the moment I don't want to show you guys one on one because it's a video. And let's change the brush size just a little bit. And what I've done is let's put everything in the middle. Let's reset that very quickly. There we go, just leave it there. And just put the clarity all the way down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint negative clarity on her face. And this already cleans up a lot of the pores and it still gives you enough detail as you can see here. That's still okay. Nice. You can always use the eraser of course if you went a little bit overboard. So let's go to one on one. And let's show you guys the difference. So this is before and this is after. So this is a really fast Lightroom trick. But there's more. Let's go to fit on screen. Now there's also another setting and that's actually dehaze. Now with dehaze you can also flatten out the skin just a little bit more as you can see here. Don't overdo it. You don't want it to be creepy unless of course you want. But just start off very simple at zero and just open it up just a little bit. As you can see, you don't want the face to start glowing, but you want it just a little bit less shadowy because that's what you're actually doing. You're taking away some of the shadows. So I like it here. Okay, let's see before and after. This is before, this is after. And I think it's way overdone with the dehazing. So let's put that down a little bit. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Now I don't want to go into the cloning stuff because, well, you probably know how to clone, but you can take those parts out of course too. Now let's open up the eyes just a little bit. So we're going to make a new adjustment, go to one on one and let's go to the eyes. And what I do, and I do the same thing in Photoshop, I will just go over the iris. There we go. And now just open up the exposure just a little bit. There we go. Clarity can go up in the eyes. Maybe add a little bit of saturation. There you go. And before and after. And do a fit. Now of course you can close this. And now you can, for example, make the image black and white or mm, whatever you want. So I hear you saying, let's make it black and white. Okay, now black and white is way more than just removing color. 
because I can of course drop down the saturation and you get this and this is a really flat looking image it's not nice it's not pretty so let's not do that let's actually go into our black and white option so here we go now what you see uh, if all these options like red orange yellow green aqua doesn't that sound awesome blue purple magenta the cool thing is now you can adjust certain channels so for example if I like skin to pop out I can actually raise my reds combine it with a little bit of yellow for their hair make magenta maybe pop so I'm just moving the sliders and see where her skin tones actually are there we go as you can see it's very subtle I see it's more orangey tones in her skin so there we go and of course we want a little bit more contrast nice exposure maybe just a little bit down highlights let's just pump that up for a nice contrasty look i go make it a little bit darker tone down the whites if you like this you can raise the blacks i like it more dark nice and there you have your well your black and white high contrast image. So you can do it all in Lightroom. You don't have to go to Photoshop. It's Photoshop is too scary. The thing is that in Photoshop you can do way more. And I think that cloning and healing is way better in Photoshop. But as you can see, it's very easy also to do it in Lightroom. So that was the tip for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, join us next time in Quite Frankly for more tips, reviews, and cool products. Thank you so very much for watching guys and see you next time.